Hey everyone, it's your girl Maddie here, aka Beaver Mosh, and today I'm talking to you about the self titled debut full length from the Seattle based band Hefidvon. And this one comes out of Northern Doom Records. And Hefidvon, on this debut full length, plays a ferocious, raw war metal. I mean, this thing pummels and doesn't ask for any forgiveness. The production is bleak and harsh and dismal. What is so different, however, about this record are some of the elements that are thrown in as well. While maintaining all of the monstrosity of those percussive bombshell guitar riffs and drum stomps is this pagan-esque neo-folk coat that you also experience. While th this band is able to create this almost enchanting mystique this looming shroud of mystery within the music while not adjusting its physicality at all. And the end result is captivating, to say the least. After this very dark, hostile, and, and frightening ambient intro, we get Urine Sun, which is, a, <laughs> which is a great title. And immediately, we are hit with total darkness the sound here is bleak and hollow and absent of any life the production here is not the most crisp or clear you're going to get on a metal album this year but any scrubbing of the smudges i feel in my opinion would ruin its effect the sound overall is just extremely grisly and oppressive. You get these really ominous, airy leads in the background that just add to the menace and the horror, and the drums have this violent snap to them. I almost feel bad for the snares here. The vocals are pretty muddy in the mix. They're kind of hard to make out at times, but the tortured, maniacal screams that you do get are just disastrous. And things are kind of wrapped up with this groove, this truly sinister, nightmarish riff that's just really well written. Scalp Alter picks things up from the last track without much pause. Racing drums, this dense feedback, and these low growls that don't really feel human at all. It's just an explosive combination. And the music here on this track just feels continuously more constricting. It really nails that suffocating atmosphere they're going for. The bass really begins to rumble on incinerated sphere. It kind of builds up and pushes against you in a very physical way. And it's paired with these dark chants and these distorted strings that creates this particularly ugly atmosphere with all the buzzing instrumentals it's it's a task to try and wade through on top of all that the main riff here has this conjuring quality it feels truly haunted and evil these rhythmic chops feel like they come straight from the abyss the speed and the intensity by which the drums are just thrown at you on eviscerate upon the pleading it's something to experience Experience. And the folksy elements at this point become more and more prominent, but in the most corrupted way imaginable. It's kind of in the background, mutated and twisted, and it's being used to further fuel this sense of despair. Yet with the utter depravity here, it's kind of beautiful, uh, an oxymoron a bit. I know, but trust me, the, the mood and the texture the band is able to create here is 
fascinating. And there's this hypnotic melodicism in between the swaths of primal chaos. Hollow Fingers is this ultra mysterious, mainly folk outro. It's got these patient spellbinding strings and the raw and rough recording here adds to the hypnotism, I believe. There are these flutes and this acoustic strumming and it's all intricately placed and and plotted out as well. There is this real knack and understanding on display for layering and orchestration on a war metal album. It's haunting and beautiful and a bold way to end an album on an eight minute track of this nature, but it makes a lot of sense in a narrative-like context as an album flow. I kind of just drift away to this. Drift away with my attention still fully enamored by it. And it's always super impressive when a band can create such a phenomenon. This record is fantastic in just the textures it's able to produce. It has a keen sense of atmosphere while also maintaining a heightened brutality. And it's always impressive when bands can pull that off. And this for sure is a war metal album, but the added pagan attention and, and folksy elements make this a very original and fresh listen. And it's not a gimmick at all all. It's all well written and intricately crafted and developed. This is a sound that feels totally natural and unforced for Hefidbon. And there is this hypnotizing mystique on the record that I am totally sold on. And hey, those are my thoughts. If you like this review, tell me, hit the like button. It'd mean the world to me if you'd consider subscribing. It really helps with the algorithm. I have a Twitter you can follow. Link to that is in the bio of this YouTube channel. Leave a comment. I love engaging with those. I'll keep reminding you from time to time, but I'm trying not to make a big deal of it, but I do have a Ko-Fi. And if that's a way you'd want to support the show, you can do that but feel no obligation. And keep it metal. My name is Maddie, aka Beavermosh, and I'm signing off.